Now, as for my thoughts on the movie, I think in order to describe it, then we have to travel back in time. That takes us to the invention of the camera all the way back in 1816. Next to that, this is one of the most important moments in cinema, with it being one of the greatest movies ever made. I love how Sony, they, they've decided to make Spider-Man spin-offs without Spider-Man, and it's a genius way to take their Spider-Man universe. I also think it's great to have an EMT who doesn't have much interest in saving people's lives. It's great how she's constantly trying to fob off her responsibilities because, as we know, with great power comes no responsibility. I feel like film school is going to be pointless from tomorrow as everyone will learn everything they need to know about making movies by watching Madame Web. It's a tour de force that makes me think they might have used a Ouija board to channel Stanley Kubrick and take his advice. What I also love is that the spider heroes never really get in their costumes and there's not been such an inspired choice since Matt Smith danced to the Have Sex song in Morbius. What I love about the film is also that it has editing like this. Hi sir. Alright, I'm gonna cut your seatbelt. <laughs> Just love the way that they have her go to the car, then cut it so that she's in the car, rescuing herself before she then falls in. Reminds me of the match cut in Lawrence of Arabia, and will obviously be referenced amongst the one from 2001. The movie is truly transformative, and it takes you back to 2003. It was like a time machine where I could smell the MSN messenger, and wishing I'd just downloaded this movie on LimeWire. Upon hearing of Madame's mother who died researching spiders in the Amazon, I felt like I was really transported there. Cameron came close to it with taking me to Pandora in the first Avatar, but this time I felt like I was actually there. Didn't need 3D glasses, I was the tree, the leaves, I became a god. Now the reviews, for whatever reason, have people saying that it's terrible, which I, I really can't support or, or get my head around. I normally don't think that fans should go after critics because everyone's got their own opinions. However, I think that anyone who says this movie's bad should be rounded up and shot. Another film hasn't got any post credit scenes and some have said this shows they've got no interest in doing anything more with it. To me though, you don't need to tease another film because everyone's just going to keep watching this forever. Morbius came on the scene and it was like, whoa, cinema can't be topped. And then this comes along and bloody Citizen Kane's it. This is the greatest film Sony's ever put out, and move over Deadpool, your Marvel Jesus is here. Drink blood, watch movie, eat food good, make money, click, view, subscribe, you fuck. IGN have also given it a 5, which, like I said, yep, 5 out of 5. I'm gonna give it a 200 out of 10, and I doubt that I'll ever watch anything again. I'm as enthusiastic about this as Dakota Johnson was on the press tour and I feel like it's fitting it's a Valentine's Day film as I'm in love with this movie. Probably just going to delete the channel after this and huge thank you to Sony for sponsoring this video. Sleep no more, Macbeth doth murder sleep, praise the beast, worship the darkness. Feast my child, the blood king cometh and sacrifice yourself to the great spider web. Sony, you have completely saved cinema, and I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, that's our thoughts on the film, and thank you for checking out the video. Please drop a like on the video, and if you want to support the channel as a member of the Spoiler Society, then please click the join button. You get early access to videos every week, but there's, a, there's not really much point in watching anything ever again, because Madame Web, it's going to make a Madame Billion and save cinema with a trillion. If you want something else to watch, which I don't know why you are, you should be going out of the cinema now, then check out the video that we've got on screen right now. We've been breaking down the Deadpool trailer all week long, and Marvel, it's saved. We're, we're finally saved. We don't need your Deadpool, so don't bother watching those. Don't bother watching Deadpool. Just watch Madame Web until the end of time. Yay!